first significant move in free agency has just happened. The Houston Astros are re-signing power reliever Rafael Montero to a three-year deal for $34.5 million and really capitalizing on his magical 2022 season after he was just regularly, he was mostly modest and average before that, but they brought him to Houston, he turned into this magical reliever and you know brought out his arm, he has a big arm, he averages like 95, 96 miles an hour, and he was a perfect fit in that bullpen right behind Ryan Presley, and again, this is the thing with Astros too, like, they had a clearly defined role for him, when they have clearly defined roles for players, it makes it easier for them to grow into it, and so this is a smart signing for the Astros. I'm disappointed because I was hoping the Yankees would try to get him because I thought he would have been a great addition to the bullpen here to add to that power pen they already have. So uh, I still think the Yankees are going to make some kind of move. We'll see. But this was the big guy, the marquee guy I was hoping they would get. Yeah, so I'm a little disappointed in this. But at the same token, I'm not dis- uh, I'm not surprised that the Astros jumped on this to get him back. So they're going to try to bring back as much of this nucleus as possible from the World Series championship team. And Ralph Montero was a huge part of it. So... Congratulations to him and, uh, you know, the Montero family and whatever else for uh, securing a contract. And this guy, before this year, he was about a .1 or, or maybe a negative .1 for a war type of guy. So his contributions were not as significant as they were this year. He just jumped into a new stratosphere this year. So, And that's part of the Astros thing. A lot of pitchers get a lot better when they go to the Astros, starters and relievers. So there's something that they have over there. I don't know if it's in the water, <clears throat> in the barbecue. Just in the pitching stable, man, they get really good when they go there. So this is, this comes in no surprise. But, again, one less target for teams, particularly the Yankees, to go after. And I do expect more moves to happen. But this was like the first thing in the morning right now. Just happened. I wanted to get it out to you. So, And uh, you, and make sure you don't leave without subscribing to the channel. That way you don't miss more moves. So, And I, I, you know, I do think the Yankees will make a move at some point real soon. What type of move, I don't know. But... Uh, this was the move I was hoping for, but now the market's going to kind of play itself. Now we have an idea. We already knew how, you know, kind of had an idea that Edwin Diaz uh, kind of set this ridiculous standard for the for the market. I thought I, I th- honestly thought Montero was going to get a little bit more than thirty four. I thought he was going to get maybe four years and fifty or something like that. So this is kind of in line with the eleven point five, twelve point five million dollars a year threshold that I thought he was going to wind up getting anyway. I just thought it was going to be for another year, but he is thirty two, so. And so the age, you know, could have could have played in the fact that it doesn't matter. He's getting paid. And uh, he's with a great team, as much as I hate to say. Part of a great pitching stable. Part of a fantastic, just shut down bullpen. So that's the first move. Astros have drawn blood too. Not only have the Mets done it, the Astros have. So some of the big teams are getting on the board. So hopefully there's some other teams that get on the board real soon. And, uh, and again, from the Yankees, I'm not just sitting around waiting for Aaron Judge to decide. That would be the dumbest move they could make, in my opinion. But there's a lot of other holes that need to be filled. Bullpen is one of them. They got three or four guys not coming back. Uh, Britton, Aroldis Chapman, uh, Efros is going to miss the year. Miguel uh, Miguel Castro is most likely not coming back as a free agent as well. So he's got a big arm too, so would I be surprised if they brought him back? No, but I would have loved to have had Rafael Montero over Miguel Castro, but it is what it is. So let me know what you think of this move. Do you think the Astros did it right? And, uh, you know, I do. I'm not surprised they do a lot of things right when it comes to baseball. And if you haven't seen, they fired their GM and their assistant GM yesterday. I put out a video on that. That's in the description below. So take a look. Let me know what you think of that as well. I thought it was kind of surprising. But one reliever. The top two relievers are off the board, guys. Talk to you later.